Hello everyone, welcome back. It's time for another monthly empties video again. So it's the beginning of July, so I'm gonna be talking about all the products that I used up in the month of June. And I didn't think that there would be many products that I've used up this month because May was a mammoth month. If you saw my May empties video, well done, because it was a really long video. But there were so many products I used up in May that I didn't think there would be any that I would have used up in June but I used up 13 items. I have them out in front of me. I have six makeup items, which is a huge amount. I never usually finish up that much makeup in a month. I've also got six skincare, <laughs> the word escaped me then, six skincare items and then a body care product as well. So quite a few items to be talking through. But before I get started, if you like these kind of videos, empties, shop my stash, project pan, tutorials, and you're not already subscribed, I would really like it if you would hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything from me. But if you've already subscribed, thank you. And let's just get straight into talking about these empties. Also, just wanted to say, in case you've seen any of my other monthly empties videos and you're wondering why I haven't used up any of these products, I don't include deodorant, toothpaste or shower gel in these videos because I just go for whatever's cheap, whatever I can sort of pick up cheaply at the supermarket. It's it's nothing special. So just in case you've watched any of these other videos and you've thought, she's not used up a deodorant this year. I have, but it's just a cheap, nothing special deodorant. So I don't include those types of products because they're not interesting. If I do buy a special type of toothpaste or a special shower gel, then I will include it in these videos, but I just go for whatever's cheap and works. So yes, I've used up toothpaste, and shower gel and deodorant but yeah I just <laughs> just wanted to say that okay we'll start off with the body care item then now this actually isn't finished there's hardly any product left in this but I'm gonna shower later on and I'm gonna lightly scrub this fake tan just so it doesn't fade really patchy and this is the body scrub I've been using at the moment and this is anatomicals the seven deadly skins melon body scrub and it is a 200 ml squeezy tube I bought this because it was cheap. I needed a cheap body scrub and I wanted it very quickly. So I bought it on ASOS because I had the next day delivery. And like I say, it was cheap and I wanted something quick. Th this is okay. I wouldn't say it smells of melon. It smells fruity, but I wouldn't say yes, that is melon. Oh, it's a little bit wet. It's been in my shower, so I'm just getting rid of the, uh, the moisture. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say this smells of melon. It smells fruity, but I don't smell it and go, oh yes, that's melon. But it smells nice. I'm not overly keen on the texture of this. This is very much a light body scrub. So it's in a lot of jelly um, shower gel and there's some small particles in it. But I prefer my body scrub to be a bit more abrasive, a bit more harsh, I guess. I don't want it leaving my skin red raw, but I want it to be scrubbier than this one if that even is a word so I like my scrubs to be a bit more intense than this one but if you have quite sensitive skin I guess this might be a better one for you but this doesn't leave my skin feeling sort of silky smooth like other body scrubs would so I'm interested to see how it's going to sort of tackle fading this fake tan quite nicely but if I wanted a cheap one I would buy this one again but like I say I want something a bit more abrasive so I would shop around next time but it's okay. Skincare items then, and I finished up a cleanser. This is the Anne French Deep Cleansing Milk. And again, I bought this because it was cheap. I wanted a cheap first cleanser to remove makeup, SPF, stuff like that. And this was a really cheap one. I think it was only two or three quid. I don't think it was more than four or five pounds. So a really good price point. It's 200 ml, so you get quite a lot as well. But I don't like this product. I don't think I like cleansing milks. I find them far, far too runny. So they're quite an awkward product to use. This isn't very good at taking your makeup off either. You can't use this over your eyes because it stings them like mad. So I have to use a separate eye makeup remover. Then I have to go in with this and I apply this on cotton pads and then I take a damp uh, flannel and wash it off and then I go in with my second cleanser but because this isn't very good at removing my makeup and I then have to use a separate makeup remover before this my evening skincare routine was just taking way longer and it wasn't 
thorough at taking my makeup off as well so I didn't feel like my face was being properly cleansed properly removed of makeup or SPF so based on that I definitely would not buy this again and I would not recommend it it smells really weird as well it um really soapy but not a nice soap and also the packaging is pretty pretty cheap looking it does reflect the price I mean yes if a product works it doesn't really matter so much what the packaging looks like but I didn't actually like the product itself so not impressed with this one wouldn't buy this one again I would stick to cleansing balms or cleansing oils over a cleansing milk in the future so I have to remember that I have to remember not to buy cleansing milks to get an oil or a balm so the eye makeup remover that I used in conjunction with that cleansing milk was this Estee Lauder gentle eye makeup remover this is 100 mils how big are you 100 mils this isn't gentle if I use this over my eyes it does make it sting a little bit and then I have to immediately go to the bathroom and wash my eyes with some tap water so it's not gentle it's it's good at removing your eye makeup but I prefer the body shop chamomile I think it is eye makeup remover which I'm using at the moment that is much better but I got this in a set in one of the Christmas blockbusters so I didn't pay separately for this now I don't know how much it retails for but I don't suspect it's worth the price and I wouldn't buy this again I would stick to the body shop one that I've got at the moment it's it's all right kind of does the job but you have to be careful because it does make your eyes sting and I wouldn't buy it again I definitely think there are better cheaper less irritating versions available right moving on to toners then and I used up this Sukin original hydrating mist toner now I don't know when I bought this exactly I haven't actually written down my purchases recently so I can't check but I don't think this lasted me that long at all I think maybe a month now I do use this twice a day and I probably use about half a dozen spritz every time I use it so I guess a month kind of makes sense and this was only about a fiver I think I got this on offer so it's not a really expensive product that I'm having to keep repurchasing so I suppose it doesn't matter too much that I'm getting through it quickly but then there is the issue of lots of these bottles being worked through but this is quite nice this is chamomile and rose but I don't think oh no it does smell of chamomile and rose I'm wrong yeah it does smell of chamomile and rose so if you are quite sensitive if your sin is, if your skin is quite sensitive you probably wouldn't get on with this because it is fragranced even though rose is sort of fairly gentle but this is quite hydrating I do really like this and I would repurchase this and I actually need to repurchase this no I don't I have bought an, a, a different one because this was out of stock but I would repurchase this in the future I think it's very lovely it, it's very hydrating the mist is very fine as well so I think I will probably keep this bottle so I can fill it up with something else because that annoys me when you buy a mist toner and it's not a mist it's more like a spray this is a proper mist it's very light it's very fine so overall I really liked this product I would buy it again and I would recommend it very nice next toner I used up was the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant salicylic acid and this is the 118 mils I think yeah you can get the smaller one the 30 mils now I have tried this before I think I did actually buy the 30 mil version but I wasn't overly impressed but I used up my Sunday Riley UFO which is another type of salicylic acid and I thought well let's try the Paula's BHA loads of people rave about it it might just be that you needed to try it for a bit longer yeah, this is okay my, my skin doesn't react badly to this at all my skin is fine with this product but I just don't think it's that good I much prefer the Sunday Riley UFO I find that one provides more immediate results in terms of controlling oil levels on my skin and drying up and tackling any blemishes that I've got this one takes a bit longer to work and I get through this bottle so quickly I think this took me about a month as well and this is quite pricey I mean yes the Sunday Riley one is as well but the Sunday Riley one I would get through that in about three or four months so I would have to repurchase this Paula's Choice one multiple times in the space that it would take me to use up one UFO I I think that I wouldn't repurchase this now I've tried this a couple of times now it's okay 
it's not amazing and I, I would definitely stick to my Sunday Riley UFO glow. UFO glow or just UFO, I'm not sure. But not hugely impressed with this one, I don't get the hype with it. For me it's just alright, it's not worth the money in my opinion. Okay, last couple of skincare items are an eye cream and a moisturiser and the eye cream I used up was the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream. This lasted me ages. I don't know why. I, I don't know whether it's because it was more liquid than other eye creams that I've been using. So even though it's the same weight, when it's more fluid, you, you get more product. But I didn't feel like I needed much of this as well. It sort of, um, sort of spread and dispersed across my eye area quite well. It was very easy to blend in. Now, it didn't really do anything for my dark circles and it does say as well, helps reduce under eye puffiness. My eyes ended up looking the same, but they felt hydrated and it was a nice eye cream to use as well. So I think I would definitely, no I would, I would definitely repurchase this product. I really like this eye cream. Can't remember the price, I think it's around about eight or 10 pounds and I'm pretty sure it was cheaper than my CeraVe eye cream, which I also quite liked, but I prefer this one. I think, yeah, I would buy this one again. But yeah, I preferred this one and I actually need to buy another eye cream and chances are I will buy this one unless I see another one on offer because I do quite like to try different products. But yes, very nice eye cream. Doesn't do anything for puffiness or dark circles, but then again, I don't think an eye cream will. I think for dark circles, you just have to rely on a concealer. But yes, I liked this product. And then the face moisturising lotion I used up was the CeraVe one. This is the PM one. I didn't go for the AM one because I like to use a separate SPF over the top. I don't like to rely on the SPF that's in my day cream. So I like to get a day cream without SPF so I can apply a separate one. So that's why I went for the PM one. But it doesn't matter that this is a PM one because you can use it in the morning. It doesn't matter. This is quite a nice moisturiser. It's very, very watery feeling, I guess. It's very liquidy, very runny but it is quite hydrating even though it is very runny. This lasted me, I have cut into it, this lasted me a couple months probably and it's a pump and I love a pump because it's just, it's so easy to use. Squeeze a couple of pumps out on your hand, rub it in in the morning and you're done. There's no scooping into a pot involved. Yeah, very nice moisturiser. This says that it has three essential ceramides, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid, so very hydrating. And yes, it is. It's not the most hydrating moisturiser I've ever used though. I think the Neutrogena Hydro Boost is more hydrating than this one. But for a fairly cheap option and one that lasts you a good couple of months, I think this is a good option to go for. And again, another product that I would repurchase. But I think I want to try a different moisturiser. I need to go online and actually buy one because I'm I've used this one up so I don't actually have one. I'm relying on my Lumine night cream at the moment. But again another nice product. Okay makeup items and I have some Project Pan spoilers in here. I have finished up my Trini BFF cream which I have been using as my primer and this has got SPF 30 in it. Um I don't like this product. I have to be really careful when I apply it near my eyes. If I get it on my eyelids, it really makes them sting. I quite like the scent of it though. It is very fruity, but I think it might be a love it or hate it type scent, but I, I really love it. The pump is nice. It is a, a, a pump product. So two pumps of this, and that covers my face and neck. I have cut it open, scooped out the rest of the product, but it was really messy to do that. I have, I, I always do this with my products. I always cut them open and scoop them out, and I've never come across one as messy as this one. And I, I don't really understand why it was that messy. I don't get why this comes in shades, because it does nothing in terms of applying any coverage to my face. It also does nothing in applying a glow or a lum luminosity to your skin which is what it claims to do my face looks exactly the same the pre and post when applying this is exactly the same so this does nothing and I think it's about 35 pounds so spending 35 pounds on a product that does absolutely nothing I'm a, I'm a bit annoyed about but I wanted to try it and I'm glad that I have and I wouldn't repurchase this and I'm glad this is out of my collection 
So moving on to another project pan item and this one I must have used up at the beginning of the month because I saw it in my empties bag and couldn't recall actually using it up so it must have been at the very beginning of the month and it is my Mali eyeliner in the shade Walnut which is a nice mid-toned brown. Mali do some lovely eyeliners, they are very easy to just glide on your eye, they don't pull, they don't tug, they're not really hard or drying and they don't transfer as well. And it's a nice, oh, I can't really show you because it's empty, but it's a twisty, <laughs> retractable eyeliner. So there's no wastage when you sharpen pencil eyeliners, for example. Really nice eyeliner, but I know I've got a little bit of eyeliner on today, but I'm just not an eyeliner person. I don't think it looks good on me. I, I, I just need to work through my eyeliner collection, but another one gone. But a nice eyeliner, one that I would recommend if you are after a really nice eyeliner. But yeah, it's just not for me. And the other product pan item is Benefit Precisely My Brow. I get through brow pencils so quickly. I've said this before, I don't know why because my eyebrows need waxing, ignore that. But my eyebrows are quite full, they're quite dense. I only just need to sort of draw in on near my bridge of my nose so it's not like I've got really sparse eyebrows and I'm basically drawing on an entire eyebrow each time I use it but I get through this so quickly I think maximum two months this lasted me I mean yes I do use it every time I use, I wear makeup but I'm not using a lot of it when I do wear it but this is a, a very nice eyebrow pencil it's quite creamy the NYX one, the NYX Microbrow, I did do a video comparing the two, I'll, I'll link it. That one was a bit more hard. This is a softer pencil, so it's a lot easier to work with. Shade 3 is the perfect sort of shade for me, but I don't really think this is worth the price. In that NYX and Benefit video, I did say that the Benefit ones were, sl were slightly better, but not enough to warrant the big difference in price. So I would use this one again if this was heavily dis discontinued heavily discounted but I would I would not pay full price for this at all it's far too expensive but a very nice product and non oh I was about to say non project pan items but actually I replaced either the Mali eyeliner or the NYX microbrow with this my Urban Decay primer potion but I haven't actually filmed a project pan video since doing that so this is one that I've included this month and finished up at the same time but this is my Urban Decay Primer Potion. It comes in a little 10ml tube, so you would think you'd get through that quite quickly. But this lasts me months. You don't need much at all when you use it, and it is a little doe for applicator. But I've really struggled the past few times when it comes to using this product, and nothing has come out on my eyes, so I think this is, this is finished up. This is great at making my eyeshadow last all day. I haven't come across an eyeshadow primer that is as good as this one, although the NYX eyeshadow base is a good dupe for it. I've bought this probably about five times before in the past and I will continue to repurchase it because I think it is absolutely brilliant. It is pricey, but you can often find it on discount somewhere and it is worth the money in my opinion. Probably lasts me about six months and I know that it works, so I don't mind spending a bit more money on a product that I know works. Love it. Love, love. I also used up a lip gloss, my one and only lip gloss, which is the Fenty Gloss Bomb. I did get a spatula, a very small spatula, into the gloss and to get it all out. So there is nothing left, even though there is, it looks like there's a bit of product left in the tube. I can't get that out with a spatula. So this is finished up. Now, I'm not usually a lip gloss person. I'm much more of a lipstick person. I don't like how lip glosses are tacky and sticky and gloopy. And you do that and it's just, ugh, it's just so gloopy. I don't like it. And then your hair gets caught in it. I don't find that that stuff happens with this Fenty one. This feels just so hydrating and, and so soft. You get none of the gloopy or tackiness with it. The scent... Oh, the scent is lovely. It's, it's. I think they, they say it's vanilla, but I'm not a huge vanilla fan because I find that it can be really sickly and overpowering. This isn't at all. And the colour is lovely. I've got the colour Fenty Glow, and I do want to try other colours. I just think it's really lovely. 
it's a lovely lip gloss that works over the top of other lipsticks but it's also a really nice one to just rack on around the house when I just want a bit of product on my lips and I think this is converting me to become a lip gloss liker not a fan not a lover because I still prefer a lipstick but I would definitely repurchase this and repurchase it in other shades as well really really like this and then last product is a mascara this is the collection lash surge mascara it's the one that I've got on at the moment now I'm very strict when it comes to mascaras I only keep them for three months and I only keep one open at any one time now this does say on the tube six months but I have been using this for three months end of June is when this is used up so it I this has now been finished but for the past couple weeks that I've been wearing mascara I've really struggled to get product out it's really sort of drying up there's not much product left in the tube so I don't think that this would even last six months if I wanted to make it last for six months there wouldn't be any product left in the tube so although I am calling this done at the three month cutoff anyway there's not any product left in it either now I have tried the waterproof version of this mascara and I much prefer that version because with this one I do get some transferring underneath my eyes I do get it smudging a little bit and that happens pretty soon after applying this mascara so I have to keep checking in a mirror throughout the day and wiping away any sort of smudged mascara so it's not great for that so based on that I, I wouldn't buy that one buy this one again I want a mascara that is going to stay put and that is not going to transfer and I think a waterproof mascara and also a tubing mascara is the one that I need to go for. But this does make your lashes look quite nice, I, I, I think they look alright. They do need to be curled though I, di I didn't curl them today. So if you want a cheap mascara that looks really nice, is easy to apply, I will show you the wand as well, it's just a standard wand, it's not curved or really intricate design it's just a standard mascara tube so yeah if you want a cheap mascara that looks nice I would recommend this one but if you do have issues with your mascara smudging like I do then go for the waterproof one ahead of this one but it comes in about a fiver so pretty good in terms of cost I did just have to um, remove some smudged mascara actually that's weird so those are all the empties for my month of June. So 13 products, which is pretty good. Um, I'm not going to give a guess as to how many for July. I think I'm going to use up because, like I said at the beginning, I used a lot in May, so I didn't think I would get through any this month, but I did. I'm really pleased with the amount of makeup products that I have used up. I will be filming very soon an updated makeup inventory video a halfway through the year makeup inventory just to see how my collection is looking now that I am six months into my no buy wow six months into my no buy that has flown by anyway so yeah I'm glad that I have used up what was that six one two three four five yeah six makeup items that's that's really good and six skincare items as well so I'm doing really good in terms of working through all the products that I've got in my collection I, I haven't used up any hair products but I, I find it so difficult to use up hair products we'll see maybe I can use up one that isn't a shampoo or conditioner at some point this year but anyway thank you so much for watching guys if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you've used any of the products that I have mentioned here as well let me know your thoughts I'm, I'm always interested to hear what you guys have to say and have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you again soon in my next video bye guys